Check this out. I didn't know it was my birthday. Today's stealth camping adventure takes us all the way to Alliston, Ontario, Canada to eat at Tim Hortons for a full 24 hours. Yes, that's right. Lunch, snacks, dinner, breakfast, and even more snacks. We will also take a side trip to Walmart and try and find a better sleeping pad than in previous videos, but we run into some difficulties as we don't have an electrical outlet in the car to operate the pump and inflate the mattress. We will also get a scare when the police do a slow drive-by that makes me reconsider where I'm parked. It's almost 12 and the police just drove up to my car. If this sounds like an exciting video that you want to watch, then grab something to eat, sit back, and enjoy the video. Well, there it is, my next home for the next 24 hours. Tim Hortons, as you can see. I'm starting this 24 hour stealth camping at Tim Hortons at 12 noon, or close to 12, and uh, I found this location somewhat close to where I live and they because they're supposed to be open 24 hours a day for the drive through seven days a week but because of COVID there's only certain days that the drive through is open uh, for 24 hours and today is one of those days I think Friday they closed the, at uh, like one o'clock in the morning or something so right now it is a Thursday so I'm pretty sure they're open for 24 hours uh, today which will be great we'll find out later on maybe what time the dining room is open until because obviously I'm gonna have to use their washroom if not there's a Walmart so I, I strategically found this place uh, and the fact that there's a Walmart there and Walmart lets you use their washrooms again with this whole COVID thing there are certain restaurants won't let you use their washrooms we are in the town of Alliston and there's a huge uh, Honda plant nearby so that's why this Tim Hortons in the middle of nowhere is um, open for 24 hours because that Honda plant I believe on normal days runs like a 24 hour uh, turnover of staff um, employees so this Tim Hortons gets used a lot and there's a lot of people here right now there's at least uh, 10 cars ahead of me uh, they have two rows that we can choose from. It's after breakfast, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna start my uh, 24 hours with a lunch. Let's grab some food, shall we? Hi, what can I get for you? Hi, I'd love to uh, do the, I guess it's the number five, which is the Turkey Club, Turkey Baking Club. You want the Turkey Baking Club with wedges? Uh, yes, please. For sure. And uh, I'll do like a chocolate milk with that. Large or small? Uh, let's go large, please. And for the Turkey Club, is it all ready if it's on the whole wheat bun? Uh, you don't have any white buns? Unfortunately, we're sold out of those. Uh, I guess I'll have to do wheat. Perfect. Is that everything? That's it. Thank you. All right. It's just 10 20 at the window. Thank you. No problem. I'm also going to be using my Tim Rewards card. Uh, I think every seven purchases, you get a free coffee. And uh, I've had quite a few free coffees. Uh, I always regret not ordering like an extra large on that day I got a free coffee. But sometimes you just never know when your free coffee's coming up. Hello. Hi, large chocolate milk turkey club and potato wedges. That's me. All right, say we'll do wedges. Thank you. All right, have a great day. Bye. All right, people, let's park it. All right, people, we are parked. Let's go to the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? First meal of the 24 hours. There's one of my favorite sandwiches here at Tim Hortons. Unfortunately, it's gonna be on a bread that I'm not super keen on having. I prefer white bread when I'm gonna eat out like this. And, and I went with the chocolate milk. Cheers, guys. Thank you for loving this series, by the way. I'm loving doing this series just for you. I wanted to give a quick little shout out to two YouTubers. So number one is Derek Gerard. He's the man who came up with the idea of letting the person in front of you decide what you eat for 24 hours. And that kind of started this whole ball rolling. Also wanted, as a third YouTuber, I also wanted to thank uh, JP and Julia from Healthy Junk Food 
because uh, I went to visit them and I got some really good advice from them when I was down in Orlando visiting them last year or two years ago. Uh, it was last year. And uh, so thank you very much, JP and Julia. My third YouTuber that I want to uh, give a big shout out to is a Canadian YouTuber by the name of Steve. He is Steve's Camping. Wanted to give him a huge shout out because I'm not sure how it happened. I was just surfing through YouTube on my TV and up came this U-Haul camping in minus 30 degree. I'm like, why would somebody do that? And so my wife just happened to be walking by and we were both hooked. Steve, we were both hooked on your videos. And then I was thinking, uh, combining all three of these ideas, uh, the 24 hours thing, the camping in your car thing is a flying here. Let's see if we can get rid of that. Go on, go on, yeah, uh, we got him, we got him out. Uh, stealth camping, and of course me and just food. All right, so let's get into this. Cheers guys, again, thank you very much to all the, uh, the YouTubers who kind of help come up with ideas like this. Okay, the wedges here at Tim Hortons are really, really good. Unfortunately, these are cold. I got leftovers or something. Come on, Tim Hortons. I love you, Tim Hortons. But you just gave me cold fries. Cold wedges. Hmm. Very tasty. Very yummy. But cold. All right, going in for an extreme close-up of our beautiful lunch here. We're going to start with this chocolate milk 1% partly skimmed and then we've got our wedges which I've already eaten a few <laughs> and then we've got this amazing sandwich uh, I'm not too disappointed that they don't have white uh, buns here but that's all right I can I can live with it uh, let's check out that it's nicely toasted very cool we got chunks of bacon nice big slices of bacon on top looks like there's some mayo that kind of spilled over from maybe the bottom or something. I'm not sure. Oh, there's some mayo. I got it. It's on the side over here. The bacon looks lovely. We got a whole lot of slices of turkey, big chunks of tomato, big slices of fresh tomato, and lettuce on the bottom. All right, guys, doesn't that look good? Tim Hortons definitely knows how to make a very good sandwich, and this is one of my favorites. Gotta love the bacon, gotta love tomato, like this whole thing. Is phenomenal. Mm. Starting our day off right. Another cold wedge. A lot of you guys come up with these ideas of putting their french fries on sandwiches. So here we are at Tim Hortons. I'm going to grab one of the biggest wedges I can get. Big, chunky wedge. This one's actually kind of warm. I'm going to put it right there on the edge. Flip our top bun over. And take a huge bite of that awesome sandwich. Not bad. Nice to mix things up once in a while. And as you guys know, I love my buns toasted. I just love that crunch. Mm-hmm. Just a few more wedges and we're done. The big ones retain the heat a little bit longer. Make sure you get the hot ones though, because they are killer. All right, first meal's all done. I'm gonna pulse this off, go for a walk, and then we'll head back in there for an ice cap and some donuts. So stand by. All right, guys, it is 2.04 in the afternoon. Let's go grab a coffee and a couple donuts. Come back here and eat them with you. Are you guys ready? Let's go. large black coffee and I'm gonna do your specialty vanilla dip donut uh, a French cruller and do you guys have any sour cream glaze doesn't look like it strawberry confetti and Oreo we'll have to come back for that uh, did it say how many uh, coffees uh, left or how many things I have left oh was it oh, okay so that was the okay that's that's funny Thank you. Nothing better than a free coffee, let me tell you. Oh, yeah, you go. Thank you. 
Cheers. That is so funny that I talked about the free coffee thing and today was the day that I got my free coffee thing. I just remembered when you do tap your card, you can ask them uh, uh, how many uh, points you've got leading up to your next coffee. All right, guys, going in for the extreme close-up of our afternoon treats. We've got a beautiful hot coffee. I took the lid off just to try and cool it down a little bit before we take our first sip. Let's move on to our apple fritter. One of my favorite donuts from the past. The blueberry fritter was my favorite. Let me know in the comments below if you agreed that the Tim's, Tim Hortons blueberry fritter was the best donut that they had and they took it off. I guess they had stats saying not everybody liked it except me. I don't know. And then over here we got our French cruller. One of the best donuts that Tim Hortons has ever created or made. And then over here we got a new donut that I've never tried. I guess it's the vanilla sprinkles. All right, let's get into it. I don't even know how they make this one. It is completely different than any of the other donuts. See how it just breaks apart? It is so fresh and beautiful and sweet. Mmm. Wow. Because of the sugar and the fat. But I don't care. It's a beautiful treat once in a while, right, Tim Hortons? Yes, of course you agree. Before we move on, we gotta have a sip of our beautiful, hot, free Tim Hortons coffee. Thanks, Tim Hortons. Oh, just the perfect temperature. Next up is our apple fritter. Mmm. I think I already bit off the uh, the whole side with the apple cinnamon goo in the middle. I don't know what happened to it. I think there it is. Yep, yeah, there it is. Look at that. All juicy inside. Dropping sugar all over my beautiful car. It's okay. I can live with it. Next up is a specialty donut. Vanilla white. White vanilla with the uh, blue, green, and white sprinkles on it. Nice fresh yeast donut, not a cake donut. All done the afternoon treats. I'm gonna polish the rest of this off and then we'll set up the stealth camping for later on. It's quarter to three in the afternoon. We're gonna set up our stealth camping. Uh, the mat I used last time, I guess at Burger King, wasn't sufficient enough for me. Uh, so there's a, a Walmart right close here. So I'm gonna zip into the Walmart, see if they have like a camping section, which they should, and see if they have a better mat than what I got. Let's go. But first, let's set up. There we go. Once again, got the YouTube pillow. I've got my normal pillow. I've got my mat, which doesn't do a good job. So I'm gonna see if Walmart has another one. I've got my camouflage stealth blanket this time. Uh, I got our sleeping bag, got a change of clothes. Got my trusty Muskoka Bearwear hoodie to keep me warm at night. And of course my little overnight bag and laptop. So let's get this out and get it ready. Maybe I can get a wider one and it'll just do a better job than this thing did. So they got a lot of these inflatable beds, but uh you gotta buy a pump. Twin air bed with AC air pump. There you go. That's the one we need. Let's do it. Your total is 33 dollars and 88 cents uh, I did mention I had a I had a pump or have a pump but I don't have the electric pump like that I've got like a hand like a big hand pump <laughs> so we'll, uh, let's get this thing out 
blow it up and see if it's any good tonight. That'd be great if it works fantastic. Pump, bag, and mattress. Nothing else. It's awesome that they give you a bag for storage. Instructions and flake. Hope it's not too big. That'll suck. This goes in here and that goes in there. Everything's good to go except this. This car does not have one of these types of plugs in it. So uh, we're gonna have to drive around and find somebody who's got some free electricity. Let's go. So just looking around the Tim Hortons property, there's no external plugs anywhere to be seen. And if you're too close to the building, it'd just be weird. This little motor going eh. And then that building there didn't have, didn't have any external plugs either, outlets. So we're gonna just do a little, little cruise over to the plaza right here, because we need to figure out how to inflate this bed. Just maybe there's a plug in amongst these bushes for like Christmas lights and things. Again, I might have to go back into Walmart and buy the adapter thing. Well, no such luck. Looking around the parking lot. So let's go back into the electronics part of Walmart and uh, see if they've got that adapter that we need. Let's find the uh, electronics department. Hopefully it's an easy find. Cables. Check that out. Regular 40 bucks on for $20. And it's got two plugs and two USB. There's a gentleman in the electronics department put me onto this thing. So we're good to go people. Let's go and inflate. All right, let's open the box. Uh, that gentleman apparently got it for his family when they went on their little camping trip. And he said he didn't hear any complaints. And he did all the reading up on the specs and stuff and uh, thought this was the best deal. It's quite small, I'm gonna keep that probably in my car from now on. Plug it in there. There's only one way to plug it in. Kinda wish they had put the plug on this side and that way I could have kinda kept it out. Ooh la la. Let's plug it in. Turn the car on. Oh, look at that. Green light says go. Let's get this pump over here. Plugged it all in, ready to go. Just want to make sure it's all laid out. And uh, let's see if this works. Nice. It's going to take up the whole space. It's going to be a good night's sleep, people. Woo oh, yeah. Dynamite. <laughs> there we go I'm gonna be raised up quite a bit make sure that's solid but that is going to be a much better sleep uh, than the last time better than that mat this is perfect ladies and gentlemen we're gonna have an awesome sleep tonight and I gotta find my laptop it's under here somewhere I'll finish with this stuff. I'm going to uh, pack it away. That's going to stay on the floor for now. It looks like it will fit in there nicely. Done. Almost time for dinner. All right, guys. It is six o'clock. Dinner time. Hi, can I take your order? Hi, I like to get that uh, chipotle wrap, chicken wrap. Crispy or grilled? Uh, let's go crispy. Okay. And I want to get one of those ice cap, the caramel one. Sure, what size? Uh, let's go large. Yeah. And one of those cinnamon buns, please. Unfortunately, I don't have any more cinnamon buns. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, let's just go chocolate dip then, please. Chocolate dip? That would be fantastic. Awesome. So it's going to be twelve thirty-five. Thank you. All right. Twelve bucks. Let's do it. Actually, the lady ahead of you just paid for it. Oh, really? Yeah. For my whole meal? Yeah. Holy schmoly. Pretty cool, huh? Very cool. So there's the chocolate dip. I guess I don't get to use my rewards card. Okay, I don't know how that, that works. that's fantastic. I should have ordered more stuff. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a great day.
All right, we're all set up. I was gonna show you, this is one of those boxes that you tear this open. I already tore it open, and then I realized I should have showed you guys that. And then you just rip it all around to the back, and then the whole lid comes off, and then you can eat it like a burrito. All right, guys, there is my dinner. And over here, let's check that out first, our ice cap caramel. That looks beautiful. I forgot to ask him for whipped cream and drizzle. Uh, my mistake. Over here, we got our dessert, our chocolate dip donut. It's all shiny, looks fantastic. And there is our Chipotle crunchy chicken burrito, let's call it. I guess it's a wrap, but it's like a burrito. All right, first up is our ice cap caramel. Mmm. It definitely has like um, a mocha flavor to it. It's uh, basically a coffee, an iced coffee drink, um, but with the caramel flavor added to it. Again, it is so much better with the whipped cream. And I just thought it came with whipped cream. I'm not sure if they're supposed to ask you if they want whipped cream and, and uh, caramel on top, but that is like the bonus part of this drink. Let's go in for that Chipotle flavor, crunchy chicken wrap. Mm. Right away, that Chipotle heat and flavor, along with that soft flour tortilla, and that tomato, and the sauce, and the lettuce. Oh, it's really good. Mm hmm. I think that's my favorite wrap. I think I've tried them all. But if you had to put them all side by side, the Chipotle wrap has all the flavor and everything that you want in a in a dinner wrap. Another quick sip. I'm getting slightly brain freezed. But this 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 wrap is phenomenal, guys. Chipotle sauce. You're not escaping, buddy. You're all mine. When somebody randomly buys you your dinner, you have nothing to complain about whatsoever. So I think when we go through either later on tonight or tomorrow for breakfast, uh, we'll pay it forward. Last bite of this wonderful crispy chicken Chipotle wrap. I'm gonna miss you. Mmm. Now for dessert, chocolate dip. You can't go wrong. Classic. Looks nice and fresh. Delicious. Satisfying. Last bite. Mm-hmm. Dinner is all done. I'm gonna sit back, relax, and finish off this caramel ice cap. See you in a little bit. All right, it is quarter to nine. I'm gonna get my mid-evening snack and also triple check and make sure they're gonna be open later and we'll do like a midnight drive-through to see how that goes. Hello. I'd like to try your vanilla latte, medium. And it looks like you're all out of donuts. Oh, I have donuts on the side. I just made them. You know what? I'll take the, the chocolate cake donut. Chocolate glazed donut? Chocolate glazed, yeah. There's nothing left. It is all gone. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. I realized later on that you're supposed to use that side door to go out. I went out the front door earlier. My mistake. All right, guys, we are back in the car. This is the first time I think I've ever had a vanilla latte here at Tim Hortons. And uh, he just made those chocolate donuts. As you could see, the whole case was pretty much empty, uh, but he had just made a few of these chocolate, I guess, cake donuts, chocolate glazed donuts. It smells like uh, a cross between hazelnut and vanilla. It does, That's just what it smells like. I'm just, I'm just saying what it smells like. That's all I'm saying but it probably just tastes like vanilla. I guess it's the vanilla and the, the coffee mixed together make it smell like hazelnut. If you don't believe me, order one, smell it, and let me know if I'm right or wrong. It smells like hazelnut. All right, so when he first gave, 
when I order this, he's like, well, they're, they're just being made. So it's going to be a little bit wet. He said, Ooh la la. I don't mind. Mm hmm. I'm not a huge cake donut kind of guy, <laughs> but when it's fresh like that, it tastes pretty good. Again, it's uh, you know chocolate cake with that icing on it, and you can't go wrong with a mid-evening snack. What a perfect! Oh yeah, a mug. When you sit in your car all day long, you think of these weird things. Sorry. Don't forget camp day, guys. Buy a coffee, help a kid. I'm gonna pulse the rest of this off and then lay in the back for a little bit, watch some videos, uh, and then we'll go through the drive-through maybe at around 12 and uh, see if we can get like a hot chocolate or something. Cheers. It's almost 12 and the police just drove up to my car and this slowly turned and now he's going that way. I don't think he just went through the drive through I'm not sure if somebody mentioned something. I just kind of looked up and saw the the uh, the lights on top of his car and drove drive really slowly past my car. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move my car. I think we'll just let's go get a hot chocolate and uh, we'll move to a different spot. Again, at the moment, I'm not really doing anything wrong. I'm just sitting in my car, enjoying some videos, but we'll move just in case. All right, let's go get a hot chocolate. Again, I'll, I'll find a different spot. That way, if the police come around again, they'll see the same car in the same spot and then come knocking. We don't want the cops to come a knocking. Hi, could I get a uh, medium hot chocolate? Medium hot chocolate? Yeah, and uh, do you have any uh, chocolate chip cookies left over? Or? Uh, I don't have any um, chocolate chip cookies, but I have uh, coconut Timbits, honey dip in the powder. I have a plain donut left, apple fritter, and a raisin bran muffin. Uh, I'll do that plain donut. Yeah? Yeah. A plain donut, perfect. Sure, why not? Anything else? <laughs> uh, no, that's it, thanks. All right, try that. All right, looks like we're gonna have a donut for our late night snack. Fantastic. Uh, donut. Thank you, sir. Okay. You too. All right, people, we are parked. Obviously, the police patrol this area. I'm not sure if it's uh, that kind of area. I don't know. It doesn't seem like that kind of an area that needs to be police patrolled on a regular basis. But uh, again, I'm prepared. Mentally, I'm prepared to move on if they ask me to move on. Hot chocolate smells amazing. It smells like I'm just about to go ice skating. Uh, I don't recall the last time I ever had a plain, boring donut. And the fact that it was their last one. How do you think it's going to taste? I don't know. Boring. <laughs> I don't know who buys these. I thought I'd buy it just for you guys and just to remind me how much I don't like these ones. This is not my style of a donut right now. It has nothing to do with Tim Hortons. It has everything to do with me and not liking just plain donuts. Yeah. Your hot chocolate's dynamite. Tastes great. I'm not gonna eat any more of that donut. which is fine with me. And uh, then we'll hit the hay. I think tonight we're gonna close the blast shield just because that lamp post light standard, I think will get in my way, light up my car a little bit too much on the inside, make me stay awake. Done. So I'm parking, again, this is the entrance to the, or the drive through. As you can see, people zip by here. I'll get lights flashing uh, on my car all night long, uh, but uh, I park beside these bushes here, which uh, this long grass, 
which should help a little bit. And again, my stealth blanket back here should help a bit. And Tim Hortons is right over there. All right, people, let's hit the back. All right, so I got my pillow, my sleeping bag. I'm just gonna take my shoes off. Got all my stuff down there that I need if I need it. Uh, I find when uh, this pillow is right up against that seat or this seat will probably be even better, then I'll have more leg room. All right, so uh, we had a great day. Ate lots of food, had a little adventure at uh, Walmart there. Got ourselves a, a new air mattress, which I think is going to be perfect. Like, it almost feels like it gives me more room lengthwise because I'm, I'm higher up in the car. I'm not sure if that makes sense or not. But uh, yeah, my feet are not touching the end. And my head isn't touching this seat, really. Not yet. All right, so I'll see you guys in the morning night good morning ladies and gentlemen it is six o'clock friday august 7th and uh yeah i think i only got three and a half hours sleep last night i don't know what it was uh like i showed you last night i went to bed probably around 12 and I just kept, I'm not sure if it was the mattress. The mattress was great. Way better sleep than I, way more comfort with this mattress than just with a mat uh, in past videos. So I'm glad I bought this thing. I'm definitely gonna be using it again. Um, I'm not sure if it was the location because this road, Highway 89, very busy, non-stop, 24 hours a day. Um, I'm not sure if it was the location I parked, because like I said, I'm right by the drive-through. I'm not sure if you can hear, uh, there's um, a sewer grate, and as cars pull in, they hit the sewer grate, and it's right by my car, right there. And so at two o'clock in the morning, it was like, click, 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 click. And I'm like, what the, how many cars come in at two o'clock in the morning? So something must happen at two o'clock. Either, I'm not sure, I'm not even sure if bars are open. Maybe, maybe the Honda plant let out and uh, everybody comes here for either food or coffee or something. But it was a full lineup, like it was dinner time. At two o'clock in the morning. Excuse me. But uh, yeah, there's a lineup right now. Parking lot is still kind of empty. Maybe like six, seven cars. Uh, it's bustling. But uh, sunrise today on August seventh is six fifteen. We have six hours to go. And. Uh, it's going to be, I kind of like this starting it at 12 noon because now I wake up and only have six hours left. So we just have breakfast and lunch and then we're out of here. So hope you guys are, hope you guys hung in there. And uh, I guess right now I could pull down my stealth blanket and kind of tidy up a wee bit. There we go. And we are deflated, ladies and gentlemen. And that is done. <laughs> Sleepy time is over. Let's get up, change our clothes, and we will uh, grab something to eat. Are you ready? Let's do it. <laughs> day people beautiful day time to start the day and gotta clean off these windows maximum air 
Let's do our breakfast first. And uh, not sure what I want to have for breakfast today. Definitely a coffee. Got to start it off with a Tim Hortons coffee. Am I correct or am I correct? Welcome to Tim Hortons, if we help you. Hey, good morning. Uh, could I have the uh, f number four, the farmer's wrap? Bacon with, or sausage? Uh, bacon, uh, sorry, sausage and a large coffee, please. What's in it? Black. Large coffee, black, hash brown to make it a meal? Yes, sir. Okay, that's everything. That's it. 775, thank you. Thank you. 775, people. Oh, open up the blast door. Look at that condensation, man. That's a lot of condensation. After breakfast, we'll clean up all the stealth camping stuff. But we gotta feed first, man. Feed. Oh yeah, we gotta pay for the person. Person behind us. Hello, hey. can, I, can I pay for the person behind me too? Okay, can you make it two separate transactions? Sure. Now, what did they order? Uh, it's $7. Okay, that's fine, yeah. Thank you, I'll let them know. Thank you. All right, people, let's park it. Feeding the people behind you. There he goes. He's a happy man. Happy man. All right, we got our farmer's breakfast. Hands are all clean, ready to go. We got our napkins. We got our bag. Uh, the interesting thing about doing this combo uh, is there's hash browns in the wrap and I'm doubling up on the hash browns. Show the logo. Mmm, crunchy. Start the day off right, right there. Got the lid off. Good morning, people. Cheers. So inside, you've got sausage, Ooh la la. egg, cheese, and uh, hash browns inside a wrap, a soft tortilla wrap. Let's give it a bite. Oh, and there's a sauce. I forgot about the sauce. Uh-huh. Mmm. Yeah, you got a bit of everything on that bite. Tastes like uh, a chipotle sauce. Probably the same sauce they put on the chicken because it's definitely spicy. Definitely chipotle tasting. Oh, there's the cheese hanging out the side. This is a very good breakfast, people. Yeah, if you're hungry and you want a cool breakfast, the farmer's wrap is the way to go. Well, that breakfast was fantastic, filling, good to go. We're gonna sit back, sip on my coffee, listen to some radio, and then we'll clean up our stealth camping mess. All right, time to clean up the mess before we do our mid-morning snack. All right, lots to clean up. All right, it is almost nine o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna try for the third time to get one of those cinnamon rolls. Are you guys ready? Let's try. I want, uh, can I get a cinnamon bun and a strawberry banana smoothie? What size? Uh, let's go medium, please. Thank you. All right, we are back in the car. Super close up on that strawberry banana smoothie. I don't recall having one of these before, but it smells fantastic. And then over to here, we finally got our cinnamon bun. Like I said, if you order one of these, bring it home, nuke it for like 10 to 15 seconds or until the icing starts to melt. I was gonna ask them to do it here, uh, but I just forgot at the last second and I just wanted to get back here and eat this mid-morning snack with you guys. First, let's take a quick sip of this. Mm. It is more banana than strawberry, but it tastes fantastic. Again, it's like a, it's like an ice cap uh, because it just has like the ice crystals in it. And of course, it's um, heavy on the banana. Perfect on the strawberry. It's a great combination. All right, next up is our elusive cinnamon bun. Let's pick it up. 
Ooh, check that out. Nice roll. Okay. <laughs> Cheers, guys. It's funny. I used to prefer the other one over this one. And I think I may have had it once. For some reason, I didn't like it. But the last time I bought it and I nuked it, it was phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was nice. All right, cinnamon, butter, sugar. It's great. Definitely tastes better. Nuked, eating on a plate with a fork. But this will do. Oh yeah, look at that. Just drooling down. Cinnamon bun all done. It was awesome. Again, gonna sit back, relax, watch some more videos drink this smoothie and we'll see you at lunch all right ladies and gentlemen it is lunch time our last meal of the day and i'm hoping i can get uh there's a bagel thing on there called the bagel belt and uh i think you can have any choice of bagel that you want and uh i'm just gonna i think i'm gonna go for the sesame seed bagel or the muesli i used to thought i used to think it was called the bruce lee bagel but it, apparently it's called a muesli bagel hi uh, uh, can I have the um, the classic bagel belt please I'll do the sesame seed and then I'll, uh, I'm gonna do the vanilla creamy chill large please thanks hello yes oh look at that thing of beauty Wow all right thank you you too all right people let's park it look at this thing Holy schmoly. All right, people, we are parked. Check this out. I didn't know it was my birthday. That is awesome. I had no idea they're gonna put sprinkles all over it. Way to go, Tim Hortons. Brighten up everybody's day with some rainbow sprinkles. Let's check it out. Very vanilla flavored. Um, not a very thick kind of milkshake. It's basically a very cold, thin milkshake, but the flavor's there, the sweetness is there. Again, their whipped cream is dynamite. When you get down about halfway, you mix it in with your drink. It makes it that much cooler. They didn't give me napkins, so I gotta steal from my resources from the people that give me too, na too many napkins. It all equals, oh, there they are. I apologize, Tim Hortons. Love you. You guys rock. It was hidden. Look, it was it was camouflaged and, and, and never mind. All right, guys, going in for the extreme close-up of this beautiful looking lunch. Let's first stop, check out this vanilla creamy chill with those sprinkles, those rainbow sprinkles all over it, bringing joy to the world. Way to go, Tim Hortons. We got the Tim, Tim Hortons logo on the side. Over to our bagel belt. Check that out. You hungry for lunch or what? Again, we started with that toasted sesame seed bun. Oh boy, there's nothing like toasted sesame seeds. And then they toast the bun or the bagel, I guess I should say. We got bacon, egg, tomato, cheese, lettuce, that is a thing of perfection. I was hoping they would still serve that at lunchtime. All right, let's dig in. All right, here we go. Pick her up. I'm not sure if they put any sauces on it. They should, you think? Nope, no sauces. No sauces, and the lettuce is just falling everywhere in my car. Cheers, people. Thanks for watching. Like I keep saying, toasted bread, buns, bagels, make the sandwich way better. Always ask for it toasted, buttered. Go heavy on the butter. It's good for you. Mmm. That might be a better choice for breakfast than that farmer's uh, wrap. This tastes so good. I should like buy them all one time, just back to back, keep eating them all until 
I'll discover out which one's the best, but this is, I think, this is my number one now. Nothing but goodness. Sip, bite, repeat. I'm looking forward to every single bite. Like I said, mix this in and it makes it even creamier. Oh, it's changing blue because of the sprinkles. As soon as you mix that cream in, it just throws it through the roof, smashes it. Mmm. Last bite of that wonderful lunch. Mmm. All right, guys, it is after 12. We've been here for over 24 hours eating at Tim Hortons nonstop, doing our stealth camping on top of that, and ending off this whole experience with something wonderful like this. All right, if you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you want to see more of these awesome videos, check out this playlist over here, and I'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.